Hi everyone, this is Mike Torres from UTradeFX. Today we'll be discussing the D-Trend price oscillator. First, a disclaimer. Uh, today's training is designed to instruct in some of the Vertex FX charting program. We will be providing some guidelines for using certain features in the software. However, nothing in this training should be intended as or should be construed to be a recommendation to buy or sell any specific security or currency. The information, technical analysis, techniques, and software presented today should be used by investors who are aware of the risk inherent in trading. UTradeFX shall have no liability for any investment decision and, it and trading strategies or any information provided in connection with the company. So let's start with the D-Trend Price Oscillator. The D-Trend Price Oscillator is an uh, indicator designed to remove trend from price and make it easier to identify cycles. Uh, you press on the chart, you put add indicator, then go to the oscillator. Uh, we press on the D trend, always close the 20 day periods. Uh, it's better to identify uh, trends using the 20 day, simple moving average. Uh, also, just add indicator, go to the trend, and add the simple day moving average 20. Uh, they should uh, always be together. When you use the 20 day moving average, you put the D-Trend 20. If it was a 30-day moving average, you use the D-Trend 30. So uh, uh, first we have to add the zero line. Uh, this is the zero line. Uh, just double click on it, uh, on the zero line, and uh, change the value here to zero to be accurate. Uh, uh, the nice thing about the vertex is that you can uh, uh, place notes on uh, the lines and you can put the lines at any valuable uh, you like to, uh, to do. Uh, the D trend, uh, it's uh, either under the zero line or above the zero line. If, if the D trend is belo below the zero line, it's a downward trend. If the D trend is above the zero line, it's an upward trend. Let me explain it to you by drawing uh, a rectangle. So, here the D trend is under the zero line. Here, there was a downtrend in the market. Okay, do you see the downtrend in the market? and uh, we'll draw a rectangle here. So, since the D-trend was under the zero line, uh, it was here, it was downward market, and the market was trailing under the 20-day moving average. Once the market crossed above the 20-day moving average, the, uh, the D-trend crossed above the zero line. So, the market went into new an uptrend or an up move. The, uh, in the D-trend, it, uh, it does not identify the size of a move. It just gives you an up move or a down move. Uh, uh, sometimes the trend is uh, very short lived and sometimes it's a very long term trend. But it's good to know where you are in the market by using the D trend. It confirms where you are in the market. So uh, let's, uh, let's uh, look at the D trend uh, from uh, at these levels. Uh, the, uh, if you uh, place uh, a rectangle here, uh, the D trend is under the zero line uh, and here the market is trading in a downward movement. Uh, and uh, it, it confirms to you that uh, the market is negative. And once it goes above the zero line, the market here, if you see the, uh, the D trend went above the zero line, the market became a little bit positive. Here the D trend went under the zero line and look how long the trend was. It was a very big move from 162 to around 150. Sometimes it's a very short term lived uh, uh, trend. Sometimes it's a very long term trend. So the D trend basically gives us uh, a way to identif uh, and identify uh, uh, where we are in the market and what kind of trend we are in. Um, uh, I would really advise uh, uh, beginners to, to follow it up uh, because it can uh, give them psychological support uh, to hold their positions within the volatility that uh, they face in the market. Uh, this is Mike Torres signing out. Uh, best of luck and uh, uh, hope you join me in my next uh, technical analysis uh, preview.